call the uh, the Preston Guild. The Preston Guild. Um, so that's the Guild every 20 years. Uh, a celebration that takes place, I think, every 20 years in Preston about the uh, uh, celebrating all of the different skills and, and strengths of Preston as it's a city. It's an event that only comes every 20 years to Preston. It happens every 20 years. It happens every 20 years. Every 20 years. People come from all over it's the country. Big celebration in Preston. It's carnival, isn't it? Like a and there's lots of street parties. It's very good. It's really nice and all that. The symbol for it is like a G with a lamp. I know it's coinciding with the Olympics this time and they've had the big. Uh, I just went to see the uh, laser rainbow. I, I think it's very good. I think this year is going to be exceedingly good, perhaps the best ever. You need a holiday, come see me. I know you're tired of the same old scenery. I know I can change all that so easily. Don't worry about a thing, you'll take a chance. I'll take you to the south of France, that can. If anybody can, I can. Or we could go shopping in Milan. I just hope you understand. I hope you see it clear. It really don't matter how far or near. Cause there's no distance that could stop my persistence. It's just a few days in the year. As a Prestonian, this is my fourth guild. Uh, I'm mainly involved with civic and ceremonial, which is um, in working with the mess uh, secretary. I work in the guild office as well. I've been putting together a spreadsheet of um, all the bands that we can contact that we need to take part in the processions for the guild. Well, it's a very historic and unique pageant. It, it was granted us from 1176-78, I think, by a reigning monarch. We've celebrated it more or less from that day on. In the, in the 1830s, there was a proposal to stop the guild, but the people kind of revolted and said, no, we don't we want to keep the guild, and it's so special to us. We've had it, you know, these 20 years. We need to keep the guild. And so ever since then, it's always been kept. But in about 1830, 1800s, a lot of the other towns just, just dropped it because it, it, was, it was just um, seen as an old hat. But here in Preston, it was very much the people that were saying, no, no, we want to keep it. So we've managed to keep it. It's like people power, if you will. And we kept the main attractions are, really, it's very much a community celebration. It brings the whole people together, young, old, different communities all come through. Um, there's a lot going on. There's lots of events. There's lots of processions. You know, there's a big headline acts. Um, we've got the Jubilution Festival. We've got the Comes in the Park coming. You know, lots of other things. Vintage Festival. There's a lot. There's pretty much something for everyone, really. Preston Guild has got eight, eight or nine hundred years of tradition dating back to 1179. It's something that's been celebrated in Preston every 20 years since then. Uh, the people of Preston, if you speak to the people of Preston, they're very fond of the Guild, they're very affectionate of it. And um, there's only the Guild's only been um, postponed in 1942 due to the war. So it's something, the last one was 92, and um, there was a, an expectation that the council would be doing something big for 2012, particularly a big Olympic year as well. Mm -hmm. so, so hence why we've Guild have a very important part in Preston's history and it's very important in terms of how the city is moving forward um, as well. Um, and that's why we want to use the Guild as a showcase that Preston's a, a great city, a really good place. It's got a fantastic university, for example, you know, and it's a great place to do business. Mr Haslam is the director of a paving company based in Bolton called Hardscape. From the Preston Guild, Hardscape have been given new job opportunities working to improve the roads in Preston. Not only does the Guild celebrate Preston as a city, it gives local businesses the opportunity for big projects generating more income for their business, also allowing a boost in our economy. I've been working for Preston for the last 22 years, but certainly in the last three years we've been doing quite a lot of work with them on the flag market and associated streets ah. next to the university. How how, how does the Preston Guild, Guild benefit Hardscape? Um, well, they want to make improvements to their town or city in readiness for the Preston Guild, so they end up repaving various streets throughout the, throughout the city, which you can see them doing. 
The Preston Guild also gives the University of Central Lancashire many opportunities. Next year's Student Union President explains why. Firstly, I'd just like to say that I'm actually working on projects with uh, Games and Guild within the union. Um, and what it's given us the opportunity to do here in the union is uh, make more of a name of ourselves, add to the community of Preston, whilst at the same time raise awareness about a lot of issues that we're passionate about here at Youthland. The Guild is the fact that it only happens every 20 years and we're one of the only cities left in the country, uh, or the only city left uh, in the country that has a Guild. So it's a really good opportunity for students to be able to put things like this on their uh, CV and uh, increase their employ employability. At the end of the day, uh, as a university, we have a responsibility to help add to that and make sure our students are going off and getting um, employed. So it's a great opportunity for our students to just get involved in something cultural, whilst at the same time uh, get something for their CV as well. Well, I think the employment opportunities have changed over time, really reflecting um, trends in the nation, really. Preston um, has grown, um, quite strongly and then particularly the industrial revolution in the 1800s grew you know massively with all the cotton mills and it was a very um, center for cotton production but obviously that that's since ceased particularly in the 20th century and now it's all about high-end manufacturing like Mr. Sherrill saying it's high quality um, knowledge particularly the university high-tech industries um, a lot of digital um, kind of um, companies as well so that's the way that the city's moved it, it kind of changed and moved and I think you'll see Pres Preston will always do well, that. Well, I know well. that we've certainly got uh, a couple of years' work with them from now because the Preston Guild also creates activity beyond the Preston Guild. But I would say that we'll be doing some work for them over the next 10 years. It's difficult to say that. I mean, at one point, it, certainly in the 1800s, Preston was one of the richest um, towns or cities in the country because there was a lot of wealth here from the cotton industry. Obviously, that declined in the, uh, the, in the certainly the early part of the, ninth, of the 20th century and the last part of the 20th century. So, um, but it's now more about, um, there's less manufacturing, there's less manufacturing in the UK, there's more high-end jobs. If you, get, if you get people who are doctors, surgeons, web designers, architects, these people are generally paid quite well. And um, that's what it's about, it's about improving the knowledge economy. So what you've seen is you've seen less emphasis on production, more emphasis on knowledge and service industry. And um, that's generally better for the economy. So I think um, what, what, um, what's quite important is that you know, we're investing two and a half million, we're getting sponsorship. You'll see, we've estimated, and we think we'll actually be better than this, but it will bring £32 million to the economy this year. But that's a much needed boost for Preston. And what, uh, what we'll be doing is we're looking at how we can build on the Guild in future years. So the Guild's only held every 20 years, so the next Guild's 2032. But what our challenge will be is to look at how Preston can move forward from 2012 to 2032, and how we can reap the benefits from the Guild um, this year. The first event consists of seminars and networking designed to connect commercial people of all ages and inspire them to achieve their entrepreneurial business and career ambitions in the county. On the same day, the first announcement will be made. The procession will commence starting at Moor Park and usually attracts up to 300,000 spectators. Avonham Park will host a selection of Shaun the Sheep themed activities for families to enjoy. There will be a civic procession walk from the Town Hall to the Guild Hall taking the long way round. After a short break for refreshments, a religious service will be held. On the third day, a church procession will be held from Moor Park to the city centre streets. There are only thousands of people witnessing this event. The Guild Hall will have entertainment over the next two days, including the main civic social event where the Guild Mayor is the host. BAEE Sports Ground will hold a cricket competition on the sixth day with top league professional players in the county taking part. A community procession will take place at Moor Park involving schools, charities, sports and youth clubs. Later that day the Guild Hall will hold an event involving hundreds of young people given the opportunity to trade their skills and ideas to a project that will be developed over a year long period. The final weekend will consist of a city festival that the council like to call the Young People Take Over. In the meantime, a classical concert will take place at Moor Park. Part of the Young People Taking Over, Gvolution Festival will take place on Avonham Park, attracting famous singers to perform such as Dizzy Rascal. 
final procession will take place to light up the city streets of Preston, followed by a firework finale the day after.